Hi there Pisces, thanks so much for tuning in, I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at April 6 through April 12 and this is a really exciting week, there's a lot of energy in the fire and air signs so you may feel as if your spiritual, creative, artistic side is shoved aside a little bit in the rush for everyone else to get what's theirs. The most exciting thing that's really happening is finally Jupiter, the planet of good luck and fortune, the biggest planet in the zodiac, is moving direct April 8. And it's moving direct in your sixth house of hard work, health and well-being. And this is an area through August 22nd that you really need to focus on, your mental and physical and spiritual health. If you need to lose some weight, if you need to stop smoking, maybe cut back on drinking, cut back on carbs and sugar, whatever it is you know that the, maybe the doctors told you or you just feel, you know, you know you when you eat dairy you feel sick, a lot of people are lactose intolerant these days and you know whatever you know that works for you and that's healthy this is the time to do it because Jupiter has a very short run in that zone but Jupiter is on fire literally and being the biggest planet in the zodiac very powerful so this is a really good time for you if you want to go on a detox or a cleanse and just get yourself into tip-top shape, this is the time to do so. Mercury and the Sun continue to transit your second house of self-worth and self-esteem and money. So you may find yourself comparing yourself way too much with other people, what they have and what you don't have. I found this quote that I love, comparison is the thief of happiness be kind to yourself and I think that sums it up we live in a world we are constantly bombarded with reality shows and magazines and you know actors and famous people taking these fabulous holidays and diving off private yachts and wearing expensive outfits and going to one out one event after the other and arriving in limousines and flying first class and buying this and buying that. And if you're just regular, middle class, upper class even, and you're, you know, just getting by, it can be very disheartening because you feel like, wow, they were born under a lucky star. Well, you know, not all of us can live like that, obviously. But comparing yourself to any of those people is really not, is very detrimental to your happiness. So don't do it. Think about how you can make yourself the happiest you can possibly be. Just because they've got private yachts and planes and eight cars doesn't mean they're necessarily that happy. So really work on that factor and how you can make sure that you are happy and healthy because I think that they go hand in hand. There's nothing worse than not feeling well. So anything you need to do to get there is a good thing. Now Venus, the goddess of love, is moving into your third house of communication and clear thinking. So this is a great time to let people in, in, your, in your circle know how you feel, that you love them, and that you are really committed to them. Have a great week, Pisces, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.